Dark hair, pretty teeth, dear. Thanks, Holly. So, Mark, we've talked a bit about having the importance of a sharp knife when you're prepping, and I've admired your skills, to be honest. So today, I thought we should do a mini class in how to get your knives perfect for when you're in the kitchen. Well, I think that's a great idea, because a sharp knife makes it a lot more enjoyable and fun and tastes better. Can we and just acknowledge the fact that I'm allowed yes, in the kitchen? Mel is allowed in the kitchen, and the reason we let her in... Because there's sharp knives? Because there's no cooking. <laughs> She's a left hand. She's left-handed, so this will be quite interesting to see how she goes with this. But okay. she's got to learn too. So everyone knows what that is, hopefully. Yeah, right. So we got uh, so you got a couple of way, different ways of sharpening your knives. Uh, so this is steel, mm -hmm. right? So this is a diamond steel, and you get round ones or you get oval ones like this. Right. Uh, and then we've got a whetstone here. Okay. okay. So, so I used to see my dad doing that at the, the table, but I wasn't entirely sure if he was doing anything to the knives <laughs> except ruining them. Yeah. Well, well showing there's a possibility. <laughs> yeah. So what you want to do is. Basically, you've got two sides, and you've got two two uh, sides of the knife. So whatever you do on one side, you want to do on the other side. Okay. So you sharpen it together, okay. so you're getting a nice set, uh, a nice edge. So I like to hold it like this, and then put the knife at the top, and then bring it down to me. Okay, so you're doing sweet. that whole motion. So you're getting the whole blade along the uh, stone. All right, you've got little guards here which help you. You know, so if you slip, it goes on there. And right. into your thumb, that's a good idea. Uh, yeah, but then look. I've I am missing your hands. I know, I know. Yeah. Oh. Sharpening okay. knives. And how, much pressure? <laughs> <laughs> how much pressure do you put on it? Uh, yeah, I mean, you want to hold it firm. So it's all about angles now. So you want to make sure you've got the right angle, okay? So yeah. you want to sort of, if you... You're taking ages. I oh, know. I'll just show you and then we'll look at the angles yeah. after. So basically you want to go down. Got other things to talk about too. And then... And you, you sort of you're about sort of 27 to 30 degrees oh, okay, you know, going down. I can see it on that shot now. That yeah. You use. So, you, so you're doing it that side, me. that side, and then you know keep, keep swapping okay. side, and then you can you know obviously you can go a bit faster. And the whole length okay. of the blade. Oh, geez, yeah. you are getting then faster and faster. Chevy, <laughs> and I just want to step around. But <laughs> the whole, whole length again. of the blade, and then and then obviously like different different knives. You know they make what slightly different then? different si uh, sounds, and okay, and, and you're going down. tighter and uh, whatnot. So sure, all of ours then actually. So you can do that and then and then you get a wet stone. So you want to soak it, you can soak them in oil as well or water, and mm -hmm. then you normally get them and you get two grits on them. So this has got a, a low grit and a high grit. So okay. the higher the grit, the smoother it is. The smoother it is, the sharper, sharper you can get it. And and, okay. and you want to use that as your knife gets sharper. So the blunter your knife, you want to use um, uh, a lower grit so it grinds and actually gets an edge on and the knife. And you don't want to use it on your really sharp ones because you'll just roll them. Well, no, you can use a really fine one. So, okay. so you can use that. I mean, basically what you want to do is you use your knife, get a really sharp knife or buy one so it's sharp, use your knife and every time you use it, just once or twice over the steel, put it back in the uh, drawer. Um, and then you use it, out, uh, take it out. So you always, you've always got a sharp knife. So that's looking after your knife. Yes, cool, which no, is that's good. We don't do very well. No, we yeah, exactly. We yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just sort of discipline. Okay, good. Great. Can I chop uh, something now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only reason why you wanted to come in here. Yeah. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Okay, great. And then obviously, always remember after you, after you've sharpened it. You know, because you are taking a slight bit of uh, metal off, you just want to wipe it, you know, because you will have traces of a um, bit of metal on there. So give it a wash or give it a wipe. Right, that's a knife for you. I'll show you first. How often should you do that, by the way? Sharpening it? Sharpen it every time you use it. Okay. Yep. Every Sorry, time you use it. So you want to do it every time you use it, or, you know, if it starts getting a bit dull, you can just give it a little tinkle and then it will be, uh, it will just bring back the edge. And you get different steels as well. So, so you get carbon steel, which will bring the edge back a lot faster. Uh, stainless steel, which is a lot of less work to um, you know take care of, but it takes a bit more. Or to get you can just edge take on. it to someone else and get them to do it. <laughs> well, yeah, I was going to say that as well. Or you yeah. can go to the market. Okay. It's farmers can markets. Just... <laughs> All right, you want to chop? Yeah. All right. Why don't we pick an onion though? That's what I want to know. No, because we can chop an okay. onion. Right, I'm going to I'm going to show you. Yeah. Right, so. Um, Finally chop an onion, so we've cut it in half, we've peeled it, mm -hmm. we've left the root on. Yeah. So you need to leave the root on so it goes down. And then what we want to do is you to finally chop it, we're just going down really close together. And we're basically leaving this much of the root on. So I'm going down with a knife. And you're using your finger to guide yeah. the thickness? Yeah, and you want to tuck your finger out a can little I try? bit. Can I try? Yeah, so you can carry on. on doing that. All lifty. Round. Here we so, go. Oh, no, theory. yeah. Oh, oh. So you make that look really <laughs> but we, No, we use your fingers. They're over here and they're turned down. But you need, you need to use your fingers to guide I the am, knife. Oh, yeah, I am guiding. They see? are thick slices now. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the onion lover in your family. Oh, great. <laughs> OK. I don't want to have blood on national TV. Okay, let's just pretend that's perfect. Okay, so that, so and that, then I just do this. No, and then you've got oh. then you've got to go across. So so what you need to do now is hold it on the top 
and you sort of cut it towards oh. your fingers, but angle it slightly so you're just going to go, if you slip, you're going to go under your fingers. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm okay. not going to do that bit. And then, all right, I'll do that bit for you. Right, now you can go across okay. there. Great. Okay, good. So, the, you know, the benefits of having a sharp knife means that like that. it's... That's it, yeah. Okay. And then you want to roll... Less risk of slipping. <laughs> so always, yeah. always keep your, your nib or your point of your knife on the board and then go forward oh. down. Oh, that's good now. And roll back. So you're getting that sort of it's circular It's easy when he's motion. got these fantastic there knives go, here. Like, they're sharp and they're great. And well, keep that that's thumb right. out of the way. Oh, yeah, it's all right. That thumb's gone. Okay. Oh, you're doing well. Sorry, I've taken up enough yeah, of your that. time. Beautiful. I'll depart the kitchen now, but that was great fun. That was good. You can come back. Thank yeah, you. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's actually really, really useful. Now I smell like onion. Um, <laughs> I think my kind of might need a little bit more practice. Yes, I think so. Help out in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, but great. Actually, we need to do another class. We need to do some more.